I'm striving to get rich. That's why I always win two years where I buy shoes and beats. Things change now. My mom hearing me with my music and she look a little proud. The Deshaun Watson trade rumors were a big discussion this offseason. They were a big discussion heading into this 2021 preseason. And now that the preseason has concluded, those discussions have started to ramp back up. Teams that have been rumored to have been Deshaun Watson possible destinations were teams like the Philadelphia Eagles, the Chicago Bears, the New York Jets, the Denver Broncos, the Carolina Panthers, the San Francisco 49ers. And now those talks are ramping back up again with one team being a possible destination, and that will be the Miami Dolphins. But before I get into my thoughts on this possible trade rumor, make sure you guys give this video a like. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are not subscribed and that button is red, go ahead and click that button to be subscribed so you get more football content. And click the notification bell so you would not miss a single video. But let's discuss Deshaun Watson. Let's dive into it. Now, Deshaun Watson's name has been a huge huge storyline this all season whether it's been his unhappiness with the houston texans organization him requesting a trade from the houston texans and the big elephant in the room all of the allegations that have been brought up against deshaun watson in criminal court potentially and also civil court now i am one that's not gonna get too deep into the court cases and all the allegations against them because all the facts are not out we don't have a lot of information as far as to what went on with all of those allegations now i'm going to try my best to stay away from going deep into that but as we all know all of that is going to play a part whether he stays in houston or whether a potential trade does happen those allegations are going to play a part as to what goes on with deshaun watson heading into this 2021 season but Staying on the football field, Deshaun Watson has proven himself to be one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. He's coming off a season last year where he led the league in passing yards, and he really established himself as one of the more elite quarterbacks that we have in the NFL. He's very dynamic as far as his running ability. He's very dynamic with the things he could do with his arm. He is a special, special talent. He's a special athlete, and I think he is, to me, definitely a top 10 possibly top five quarterback in the NFL. Now, there have been a lot of rumors, of course, whether it's the Carolina Panthers, the Broncos, the Bears. There have been a lot of rumors as far as what team can possibly get Deshaun Watson. Now, the Houston Texans, they are going to play stern and ask for a big asking price for Deshaun Watson, but I think as time goes on and things play out, the asking price is going to get a little lower because his value could potentially drop especially with all the allegations that he has going on. But let's flip things to the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins have been rumored to be in potential trade talks with the Houston Texans for Deshaun Watson. And I think if that is true, that screams one thing about the Miami Dolphins organization. They do not believe that Tua Tungavailoa can eventually be the quarterback of their future. Now look, Tua I think could be a very solid quarterback in this league. I think... He has the talent, but I think last year he wasn't really 100% healthy, and he really wasn't 100% there, especially coming off that devastating hip injury that he suffered at Alabama in 2019. And he really didn't have that full offseason to a rehab with the team and get acclimated to the Miami Dolphins offense. So even though I think he has the potential and he has the talent to be a good quarterback in the NFL, I think the Miami Dolphins believe a little bit differently, especially the way that they went about the whole Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tua Tonga Valoa situation last season, bringing them in, bringing them out, putting Ryan in, putting Tua back in. It was just a whole crazy thing with Tua at the quarterback position. Even though I think he can have an improved 2021, if these rumors are true, I really believe that the Miami Dolphins organization sees something different and that they believe that they could possibly go into a new direction with the quarterback position and get Deshaun Watson. Now, take putting Deshaun Watson on this roster versus Tua Tagovailoa is going to look absolutely great on paper. It is going to look great on paper, but I believe if they make this trade now, it's going to take a little bit of time for Deshaun Watson to get acclimated to the Miami Dolphins offense. Especially with him not having an offseason with the franchise, especially with him 
not learning his receivers, especially with him not learning the Miami Dolphins organization itself. I think if they make this trade now, it will definitely improve them, but it was going to take a little bit of time for them and Deshaun Watson to get on the same page and get acclimated to each other. And as great as it looks on paper, especially with the Miami Dolphins team, I think is on a rise, a team that I think can be really good playoff contenders heading into 2021, even with Tua at the quarterback position. I do believe Deshaun Watson gives them more elevation, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, you put Deshaun Watson on this team for this year and beyond, I really believe that this Miami Dolphins team can really change themselves into true contenders in the AFC, especially in the AFC East, where you're going to have to compete with teams like New England, who's getting better, and you're going to compete with a team like Buffalo, who I think is the cream of the crop of that division. And when you look at this Miami Dolphins roster right now, the offense does need a little bit more improving, and I think Deshaun Watson is going to elevate that offense a ton. Now, that defense that they have in Miami is a very, very good defense led by Brian Flores' scheme and coaching and Xavier Howard, who is one of the better corners in football with Byron Jones opposite of him. That defense is a very, very good defense. They show flashes of being a very good defense last year. I just don't think it was consistent enough, and the offense wasn't consistent enough as well. But if you put Deshaun Watson, I believe, in this Miami Dolphins offense, it can improve dramatically over the course of time with Devontae Parker and Will Fuller at the wide receiver position. They did draft Jalen Waddle, who I think could be a very special player in this league. Mike Kosicki, who is elevating himself into that top tight end status. With the offensive line, I think that is very solid. So adding Deshaun Watson to this Miami Dolphins offense, I really believe that this Dolphins offense over the course of time and with the defense playing at a high level with Jalen Phillips that was drafted in the first round. Then you have guys like Van Ginkle who's played solidly, Jerome Baker who's played solidly. Then you add Jason McCourty to this defense with Christian Wilkins on the defensive line who is a very young and very talented player. This Miami Dolphins team I think could be a solid quarterback away from really, really contending with the Buffalo Bills in this division. Now, I do believe Tua can get there, but I think the Miami Dolphins organization is looking at it like their window is not big and an opportunity for them to really compete with this Buffalo Bills team is closing now, especially with Josh Allen getting that big mega deal that he just got six years, $208 million. And he's improving and being one of the better quarterbacks in this league. So they're going to have to contend with them for years. The Patriots drafting Mac Jones. He could potentially be their quarterback for years. And the Jets drafting Zach Wilson can potentially be their quarterback for years. So I do believe Tua could be there. But with the rumors going around, I think that speaks more to the Dolphins organization. Not necessarily believing that Tua can be the game-changing quarterback that they would need to compete in the AFC, not only just now, but for years to come. Now, of course, all of the allegations could actually stop any trade from happening, but assuming things are clear, assuming that everything with Deshaun Watson comes out to be clear and he's going to play football for not just now, but for the foreseeable future, Adding Deshaun Watson to this Miami Dolphin roster will be a great thing for them. Not only just time going on this year if the trade happens, but also in years to come, Deshaun Watson will be an elevated fit and a great fit for this Miami Dolphins team and for the organization for them to continue to compete in the AFC West that I think has the potential to be one of the stronger divisions in years to come. But those are my thoughts on the possible Deshaun Watson trade to the Miami Dolphins. Do you guys like the idea of Deshaun Watson being a Miami Dolphin? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to see what you guys think. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave the video a like. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. That helps to continue to grow this channel. And also click that subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss a single video. But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day. And I'll catch you guys in the next vid. 
Peace.